So here's a quick overview on how the node read for Salesforce packages work. So on the left hand side you'll notice there's three nodes that you can run. And let's just start with the, the trusty old SQL query first here. So I'll drag that on there, double click on it, and then I can go ahead and can do something like get contacts, just display name. And then we're going to have to actually have to add a configuration. So Node-RED is going to store the configuration for you. So you'll get it, you'll open that up here and you'll see the different entries here for a connected app from Salesforce. So to set up a connected app, you'll, you'll go here in the this, in this setup and we'll, we'll search for app and we'll create a new connected app here. And we'll hit new. And I'm not going to actually create one because it takes a while for it to propagate across the internet, but you'll go through these steps here and you're going to choose the OAuth settings here and pick you know what your callback all that good stuff is here and the selected scopes for your OAuth so I'm not going to do that it's pretty simple to do you'll get a page like this I already have one set up here and you can see um, it's just called production connection and I've got all my settings in there already you can see it here we're just going to use this connection to my developer org okay so I'm going to choose my connection and write my query and let's see I'll do select We'll just get two real quick. And I'll add that right here. And then let's grab a debug so we can see what's going on. Connect those up. And then to kick this whole thing off, let's add a inject. That just basically injects a timestamp. Nothing big in here. Now if I deploy this. Now running this, you should see the results of the query. In the, on the right hand side. So there we go. So it's returned two records and there's a first name and last name of those records. So pretty simple to do. So now that you have that payload you can do all kinds of cool things with that. So let's go also go ahead and do a a Sossel statement. So we'll drag the Sossel over here. We'll do the same thing. Let's see. Also there's some info in here what all these are. So here we're just going to grab this Sossel statement right here. We copy that. And we'll say find United, choose that same configuration, that connection, paste my Sasso query in here. And we're going to kick this off with a timestamp. Actually, just get rid of that one. We'll wire these up together. Deploy that. And then we'll run it. There you go. So there's all of our records matching that SQL query or SQL query. All right. So another cool thing is we can do. We can actually build some some web services. So let's build a web service that takes an input and then creates a record in Salesforce. So let's see. Um, we'll grab this here, and then we'll need to have a response, and then we'll do a DML statement here. So we'll grab a DML statement here. And also we'll grab a function here. I need to do some processing. And we'll call it, we'll make the endpoint for this. We're gonna do a get and we'll, we'll make this let's see, just um let's just say awesome. Oops. Awesome, and then connect that to a function. And the function is gonna just do one thing, it's gonna take the results from the URL and actually add to the payload so I can pass it along to the to the uh, so -called, or the DML statement. So we're due, let's see. And then we'll say that this is a um, sage.payload and we'll choose a name and we'll say last name. That's my name. We'll describe it there. So what it's going to do is it's going to take the payload that's submitted on the URL string as a name query parameter, add that to my first name, and add this here. So let's call this prep for lack of a better word. And then we're going to wire that to the DML statement. And we're going to say um, save. Choose my configuration. We're going to in the contact. And then we're going to insert that. And then let's just go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and add this here as the output and see what we get. All right, so let's go ahead and look at, the, at our contacts here, make sure 
I haven't done anything silly. All right, there's my recently viewed contacts. So now we got uh, our REST service as slash awesome. It preps the data to go into Salesforce, commits it, and then it sends a response back out of here. So let's grab that. So now I should be able to go to this URL here and do Got that right through here, and then you should see we now have a new record in Salesforce. So if I go back here, there's a new record. It actually also, I should have actually put a debug here. Let's put a debug here real quick so I can kind of see what happens. Do that one more time. Let's try that one more time. We'll see what actually looks like coming out. We'll run that again. Let's change a different name. So now you see there's the there is the payload that comes back from the successful insert into Salesforce. You got your ID there. And now if I go back, get rid of that one. If I go back, I should have another one here. Mike Douglas, there we go, right there. So of course you can do all kinds of different things with this. So let's go ahead and do um, let's do one where you do a uh, an upsert. Oh, get rid of all these. So we'll do a DMO statement for upsert. So we'll drag it on here. We're going to choose a config again, a connection. So let's say upsert. We're going to do a contact, and then we're going to do an upsert. So the upsert works by either create a new record or update an existing record if it matches it. And we're going to match it not by the ID, but by an external ID that I have set up already. So you can see we have, um, I have this one right here. It has an external ID defined, just called external ID with one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to actually try to match on that and update that. So let's see. So we're going to grab a, an inject so that way it kicks this process off. It's going to go to a function. Let's see, I do have, I think I have some text in here. So we have sample for each one of these here. So we're going to set the payload to this right here in our function. Oops. Let me try this again. We're going to set the message payload to that. Because that, and then we're also going to do a, um, we're going to grab this external ID because we're going to tell it what external ID to use. So here's the external ID right here. It just happens to be the same one I did a minute ago. This is going to be, oops. This is going to be, um, I don't think I need that. Because that. So there you go. So now we're going to have the payload's going to be what I'm going to update it to. The message external ID is going to be the field that we're going to use for the external ID and the actual value itself. So let's call this prep again. And now we'll wire these up together. And then we need one more debug to kind of see what goes on here. And we'll debug that. All right, so we're going to kick it off. We're going to, again, add the payload as the name. We're going to find the external ID. And then we're going to go ahead and upsert that with that payload. Let's see how, how that works here. Get rid of this. So now it's this record right here it should find. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, still the same. Now if we run this, connecting. There we go. So success, got that contact ID. Now if I checked back here again, there you go. So it changed the name right there. And then if we want to, of course, insert one. We can just change this ID to something that doesn't exist. Six, and of course, it'll do an, up, or an insert. So let's go ahead and go back here real quick, see what records we have. All right, and then run this again. 
connecting upsert. And this time you see that I actually insert it and there's the new ID that it just created. So that should be right here. There we go. So there you go. That's a quick demo on some of the Salesforce functionality for Node-RED.